Hoy me comprometo a servir y amar hoy a ti me entrego Con tu gracia enfrentaré los retos y en tu nombre iré por nuevos senderos Con tu gracia todo soy Señor Gracias Señor por darme vida a tu imagen me has creado Y por tu nombre me has llamado en este día Con tu gracia hoy me comprometo A servir y amar hoy a ti me entrego Con tu gracia enfrentaré los retos Y en tu nombre iré por nuevos sentidos Yes. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My brothers and sisters, peace be with you. 
So we gathered this afternoon at the end of our Religious Education Congress, and we celebrated the Mass on the first Sunday of Lent. Lent, as we know, is a time of conversion, of beginning again. So let us ask for this special grace today as we come to the end of Congress and renew our commitment to be faithful to our Christian vocation. So my brothers and sisters, let us and glorious our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Señor Jesús, tú que nos llevas a la plenitud de la vida, dirige el sol. Jesus, you are the abundance of grace in this world. Christ, have mercy. Traes la oscuridad, la luz a la oscuridad. Señor, ten piedad, ten piedad. Señor, ten piedad, ten May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, through the yearly observances of Holy Land, that we may grow in understanding of the riches hidden in Christ, and by worthy conduct pursue their effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. del libro del Génesis. Después de haber creado el cielo y la tierra, el Señor Dios tomó polvo del suelo y con él formó al hombre. Le sopló en la nariz un aliento de vida y el hombre comenzó a vivir. Después plantó el Señor un jardín al oriente del Edén y allí puso al hombre que había formado. El Señor Dios hizo brotar del suelo toda clase de árboles, de hermoso aspecto y sabrosos frutos y además en medio del jardín el árbol de la vida y el árbol del conocimiento del bien y del mal. La serpiente era el más astuto de los animales del campo que había creado el Señor Dios. Un día le dijo a la mujer, ¿es cierto que Dios les ha prohibido comer de todos los árboles del jardín? La mujer respondió, podemos comer del fruto de todos los árboles del jardín, pero del árbol 
que está en el centro, dijo Dios, no comerán de él, ni lo tocarán, porque de lo contrario habrán de morir. La serpiente replicó a la mujer, de ningún modo, no morirán. Bien sabe Dios que el día que coman de los frutos de ese árbol, se les abrirán a ustedes los ojos y serán como Dios, que conoce el bien y el mal. La mujer miró que el árbol era bueno para comer, agradable a la vista y codiciable además para alcanzar la sabiduría. Tomó pues de su fruto, comió y le dio a su marido, que estaba junto a ella, él cual también comió. Entonces se les abrieron los ojos a los dos y se dieron cuenta de que estaban desnudos. Entrelazaron unas hojas de higuera y se las ciñeron para cubrirse. Palabra de Dios. Corazón puro, piedad de mi Señor por tu bondad. Borra mi culpa, lava en todo mi delito, purifícame tú de mi pecado. Dame la 
alegría de tu salvación Mantén en mí un alma generosa Enseñaré a los malvados tus caminos Se volverán a ti los pecadores Bài chiếc thư Thánh Paolo Tâm Đồ gửi tín hữu Roma. Anh chị em thân mến, Cũng như do một người mà tội lỗi đã nhập vào thế gian, Và do tội lỗi mà có sự chết. Và thế là sự chết đã truyền tới mọi người. Vì lẽ rằng mọi người đã phạm tội Trước khi có lề luật Đã có tội ở trần gian Nhưng nếu không có luật Thì tội không bị kể là tội Thế mà Từ thời Adam đến thời mô Sự chết đã thống trị Cả những người đã không phạm tội Bất tuân lệnh Thiên Chúa Như Adam đã phạm Adam là hình ảnh đấng sẽ tới Nhưng sự xa ngã của Adam Không thể nào sánh được với ân huệ của Thiên Chúa Thật vậy nếu vì một người duy nhất đã xa ngã mà muôn người phải chết thì ân sủng của Thiên Chúa ban nhờ một người duy nhất là Đức Giêsu Kitô còn dồi dào hơn biết mấy cho muôn người ơn Thiên Chúa ban cũng khác với hậu quả do một người phạm tội đã gây ra. Quả thế, vì một người duy nhất phạm tội, con người đã bị xét xử để phải mang án. Còn sau nhiều lần xa ngã, thì lại được Thiên Chúa ban ơn cho trở nên công chính. Vì nếu bởi tội của một người mà sự chết đã thống trị do một người đó thì những người lãnh được ân sủng và ơn huệ dồi dào bởi đức công chính càng được thống trị hơn nữa trong sự sống do một người là Đức Giêsu Kitô. Do đó Tội của một người truyền đến mọi người Đưa tới án phạt như thế nào Thì đức công chính của một người truyền sang mọi người Đưa tới bậc công chính ban sự sống cũng như thế Ví như bởi tội không vâng lời của một người Mà muốn người trở thành những tội nhân thế nào thì do đức vâng lời của một người mà muôn người trở thành kẻ công chính cũng như thế đó là lời chưa
Marvelous. de la boca de Dios Marvelous Marvelous and great are your works of Marvelous Marvelous and great are your works be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. He fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, and afterwards he was hungry. The tempter approached and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become loaves of bread. He said in reply, It is written, One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and made him stand on the parapet of the temple and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down. For it is written, he will command his angels concerning you, and with their hands they will support you, lest you dash your foot against the stone. Jesus answered him, Again it is written, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. Then the devil took him up to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in their magnificence. And he said to him, All these I shall give to you, if you will prostrate yourself and worship me. At this Jesus said to him, Get away, Satan. It is written, The Lord your God shall you worship, and him alone shall you serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him. The Gospel of the Lord.
marvelous, marvelous. My brothers and sisters in Christ, as we all know, this has been a difficult and challenging time with the loss of Bishop Dave O'Connor. I'm grateful for your prayers, support, and fellowship this weekend. Being with you has been a gift and an embrace of grace. We had a beautiful prayer service this morning, and we heard beautiful testimonies too on his life and dedication to God and to the people of God in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. So, it's been for all of us, I think, a beautiful gift to reflect and, and, and learn from the beautiful, again, exciting and beautiful example of Bishop Dave O'Connor. Con el fallecimiento de Monseñor Dave O'Connor, hemos vivido unos días muy difíciles. Gracias por sus oraciones y su apoyo estos días. Estar con todos ustedes ha sido un regalo. Hemos sentido el abrazo de la gracia. Tuvimos el servicio de oración esta mañana y oímos también testimonios muy bonitos y rezamos por él. Vamos a seguir reflexionando en el ejemplo tan bonito que él nos dio en su vida como sacerdote en el servicio de Dios y de todo el pueblo de Dios aquí en la Arquidiócesis de Los Ángeles. On this first Sunday of Lent, I read this set before us the whole human history, the beautiful narrative of salvation, from the first man and woman to the last Adam, the new man, in whom we are given the power to become children of God and a new creation. The first reading today from the book of Genesis is our origin story. And we all know how that story goes. God made a wonderful world, garden of paradise. And as the crown of his creation, he made man and woman in his image. To live as his sons and daughters, to walk with him and to share in his divine life. So we, as we heard in the first reading, being a child of God, being the image of God, seems that it was not enough for our first parents. They wanted something more. They wanted to be like God themselves. That's just what the devil, the devil promised them. And I was reflecting how, as, and as probably, I mean, I'm sure that we know that the world is still living with the consequence of our first parents' original sin. It has been said that original sin is the only Catholic doctrine that has been proven to be just reading the headlines. Sadly, that's true. Every day in the media, we can find stories of sin and cruelty and people trying to play God. So that's where our story starts. 
but not where it ends. Sin and death do not get the last word in God's plan. Where sin abounds, grace abounds even more. St. Paul tells us in the second reading, for just as through the disobedience of, of, of the one man, the many were made sinners, so through the obedience of the one, the many will be made righteous. Las lecturas de la misa de hoy nos hablan de la historia de la salvación desde Adán y Eva hasta el nuevo Adán. Dios creó a nuestros primeros padres y les dio el paraíso para vivir, pero ellos cometieron el pecado original. Quisieron ser como Dios. Ahí empieza nuestra historia, pero no termina ahí. El pecado y la muerte no son la última palabra del plan de Dios. Donde el pecado abunda, la gracia abunda todavía más. Y San Pablo nos dice en la segunda lectura de la misa de hoy, así como por la desobediencia de uno todos fueron hechos pecadores, así por la obediencia de uno solo todos serán hechos justos. And my brothers and sisters, we witness that act of obedience today in the passage of the gospel. As Jesus confronts the devil in the desert and undergoes the same temptations that Adam experienced. As Adam was disobedient, our Lord was obedient to God. So the gospel tells us today that the Holy Spirit led Jesus into the desert. We need to remember, Jesus allowed himself to be led. He was obedient to the Spirit. And as we have reflected this weekend, the Holy Spirit is still alive and active in the world. The Spirit is like a fire moving through history, as Jesus said, like a wind that blows where it wills always working to renew the face of creation. So like Jesus, we need to let the Holy Spirit guide us. We need to let the Holy Spirit open our eyes to the signs of the times. And with our eyes open, we can see how the Spirit is at work in these days. In our parishes and schools, in our communities, We have seen it in a beautiful way, especially these days in our Congress. All around us, we can see that there is a new thirst for holiness, a new desire to live by the Word of God, a new hunger for the Eucharist as the bread of life. It's happening. You see it. And so do I. It is a new awakening, a new religious revival beginning. So, our job is to keep that fire burning in the hearts of our people and to kindle that fire in many more hearts. Just think about how this generation has survived the pandemic for the last three days. Three days, three years. <laughs> I wish it would be three days. I guess that's what I wanted, three days, not three years. So, it's been so challenging. But now, people are working for answers, for solid spiritual food, for permanent things. They're looking to us, to you and to me, and to the church, to show them the way to Jesus. So we have a beautiful duty in this moment. It's not just only about programs or action plans. It's about witnessing. It is about friendship. Sharing our love for Jesus and leading others to friendship with him. So we need to be good friends to our friends and to be faithful and loyal to them. We need to be honest and caring in our families, our work, and in our communities. And we need to reach out to make new friends because, as I said, so many people are out there looking for Jesus because they are 
lonely and hurting. So as we have seen it in the life of Bishop Dave, being a friend is being an apostle. So when we strengthen friendships, when we make new friends for ourselves, then we make friends for Jesus. And that's our vocation. That's what we are here for. Pasaje del Evangelio, escuchamos de la obediencia de Jesús, cómo fue llevado al desierto por el Espíritu Santo. Como también hemos escuchado estos días, el Espíritu Santo está vivo y actuando en nuestro mundo. Y como Jesús, necesitamos que el Espíritu Santo nos guíe y nos abra los ojos para ver los signos de los tiempos que vivimos y cómo estamos allá, estamos llamados a acompañar a la gente de nuestro tiempo para que encuentren la respuesta a las preguntas y al entusiasmo y una verdadera renovación espiritual. Nuestra misión es compartir el amor por Jesús de manera fraternal, como lo vimos en la vida de Monseñor David. Llevarlos a todos ellos a que crezcan en la amistad con Jesús. Por eso que en este tiempo de cuaresma, sepamos abrazar la gracia y llevar este mensaje del amor de Dios a todos los que nos rodean. Que María Santísima interceda por nosotros y nos acompañe siempre. Let's make sure that all the emotions that we have had this weekend, the last week, with the passing of Bishop Dave O'Connor, that that will be a moment to all of us as we start this Lenten season and in our whole life, as we start this new moment of the Holy Spirit, to let us stand in the fire of the Lord's case and allow his love to pour away our selfishness and indifference, and especially to renew our apostolic seal, that we really feel the responsibility of sharing the love of God with everybody in our families, in our parishes, in our communities. And may we embrace grace and allow God to take away our hearts of stone and give us a new heart to love. Yes, let us ask Mary, our Blessed Mother, to help us, to pray with us, and to pray for us on this journey. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before God, 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 God,
my brothers and sisters, by baptized into the Paschal mystery of Jesus and led by the grace of the Spirit, let us offer our prayers to God with confidence and trust. We pray for the church, for the people who lead, and for those who follow, for those who conform to Christ's humble service, rejecting splendor and domination. John Yung Ai Tim Gap Chukito Noi Tatka Kon Kai Chua. For los miembros del cuerpo de Cristo que están seguros y por los que se encuentran inseguros. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for our world and the leaders of nations, for ones who labor tirelessly to silence the terror of the angry weapons of war. Cho nhung ai tu bo niem kiu hanh va doi yen voi long chung thuc. Por los que se apretan de la gracia, de la misericordia y la reconciliación de Dios. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for those at the borders, boundaries and margins, and for those who would answer their cries, and for the ones who offer healing, hope, and strength to the least among us. Cho những người bị rung bỏ, bên tật và bị loại bỏ, cho những người tìm đến nơi tị nạn và an toàn. For las personas que trabajan para dar de comer al abriento, vestir el desnudo, acoger al refugiado, y al inmigrante, ser consuelo para los que están perdidos, solos y apatidos. For the more than 47,000 victims of the devastating earthquakes in Turkey and Syria, who live now in God's embrace. For the hundreds of thousands of people injured or displaced by the earthquakes. Lord, in your mercy. For this community of faith gathered here today, for the ones we love, for those who are difficult and challenge us to love. Cho những ai mở rộng tấm lòng và mái ấm cho mọi người. Por los maestros, los catequistas y todos los que enseñan toda palabra que sale de la boca de Dios. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for those who have died recently or long ago, near or far away. Cho tất cả những ai đã chết trong cô đơn và không người thương xót Por todos los que han muerto hoy For Bishop David O'Connell Generous and compassionate priest Bishop, peacemaker and shepherd 
who constantly put others' needs before his own. Lord, in your mercy. Merciful God, we stand before you, merciful God of all exiles, joining our prayers to those of the prophets, Isaiah and John, Abraham and Sarah, Peter and Paul, to the praise of Mary of Nazareth. Remember, O oh God of grace, and have mercy on your people who live on every word from God. We make all our prayers in Jesus' name, who is Lord forever and ever. được dọn sẵn và những anh chị em đại điện cho tổ chức Catholic Workers đang dâng lên đang dâng lên của lễ cảm tạ tri ân vì 90 năm hồng ân chúng nhân tin mừng qua những công tác mục vụ cho người nghèo và người khôn cùng cũng như cổ võ cho công bằng xã hội La mesa está siendo preparada y nuestras ofrendas están siendo presentadas por miembros de la comunidad Catholic Worker, trabajador católico. En gratitud por sus 90 años de testimonio al Evangelio a través del servicio al pobre y marginado y abogacía por la justicia y la paz. The table is being prepared and our gifts are being presented by members of the Catholic worker community in gratitude for their 90 years of witness to the gospel through service of the poor and marginalized and advocacy for justice and peace. cho con biết lắng nghe lời ngài gọi con trong đêm tối xin cho con biết lắng nghe lời ngài dạy con lúc lẻ loi xin cho con cất tiếng lên trả lời vừa khi con nghe chúa xin cho con biết thân thương lời ngài ngài muốn con your call teach my heart to respond oh lord i follow your word your word is a source of my life your word is the light of my path your word is nourishment home to always follow your way chân lý 
xin cho con biết say mê cuộc đời làm nhân chương tình yêu cho môi con thắm nét cười lời ngài được đem cho thế giới cho đôi tay sang ơn trời tròn vẹn hành lý cho ngày mai What is the source of my life? Your word is the light for my path Your word inspires with hope To always follow your ways Your word is the fullness of joy Releasing the song of my heart Your word is so soft in life Your word renews all my life Lord, help me to hear you were the cause in the night. Lord, help me to hear you were when I am alone. May I quickly reply as soon as I hear your voice. May I fearlessly sing. Oh Lord, your servant is here. Your Lord is the source of my life. Your word is the light for my path. Your word is silent with hope to always follow your con biết lắng nghe lời ngài gọi con trong đêm tối xin cho con biết lắng nghe lời ngài dạy con lúc lẻ loi xin cho con cất tiếng lên trả lời vừa khi con nghe chúa xin cho con biết thân thương lại ngài ngài muốn con làm chi trong cuộc sống xin cho con biết lắng nghe lời ngài từng theo bước đời con xin cho con biết sẵn sàng chờ đợi và vâng nghe theo chúa xin cho con biết sẵn sàng thực hành lời chúa đã truyền bá
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Give us the right dispositions, O Lord, we pray, to make these offerings, for with them we celebrate the beginning of this venerable and sacred time, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. He is truly right, right and just, our dear and our salvation, always and everywhere. To give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. By abstaining 40 long days from earthly food, he consecrated through his fast the pattern of our Lenten observance and by overturning all the snares of the ancient serpent, taught us to ca cast out the leaven of malice. So at celebrating worldly the Paschal mystery, we might pass over at last to the eternal Paschal feast. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. están el cielo y la tierra de tu gloria que no se están el cielo y la tierra de tu gloria comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the cielo. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the cielo. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like do for, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was said, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We 
proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Ven, Señor, oh, ven, Señor, ven, Señor Jesús. Ven, Señor, oh, ven, Señor, ven, Señor Jesús. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have lost worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we there to say, Our Father, who art Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Gracefully grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. to the deep Though our senses fail Your grace is still prevail And we become the love that we receive
covenant received with your very body and your blood. Come claim your bride again with love that cannot end. For what God joins, no one can divide.
Let us pray. Renew now with heavenly bread, by which faith is nourished, hope increased, and charity strengthened. We pray, O Lord, that we may learn to hunger for Christ, the true and living bread, and strive to live by every word which proceeds from your mouth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Good afternoon. What a blessing was this weekend. No? I want to thank each of you for being here. Thank you, thank you so much. And we hope and pray that you have had a personal experience of God's grace and that we have the courage to be Eucharistic love for others. Very important. Muchísimas gracias a todos los que estuvieron aquí este fin de semana y deseo de todo corazón que se lleven una experiencia de la gracia de Dios en sus vidas y que nos atrevamos a hacer ese amor eucarístico para todos. I have a long list. And to be short, you're going to be seeing some names on the screen. So be ready for that. But first, I want to thank Archbishop Gomez. <laughs> thank you so much, Archbishop, that um, he continues supporting the work of the Office of Religious Education and, of course, this event. Bishop Ban and the Diocese of Orange that is hosting us. And, uh, well, you cannot even imagine how many people are behind this event. It's a lot of work, I need to say. Uh, we have the production team and many, many other people, volunteers, that give freely, graciously their time. It's, it's so wonderful to see the love and support of so many so that this um, event is possible for each of you. So we have the production team, sound and audio, live stream, and let me tell you, the event started on Thursday with Youth Day. It was wonderful. So I want to especially thank Jenny, Katie, Diarin, Kelly, Veronica, and the YDC team for putting this together. It was beautiful. We had wonderful music as well on that day. And, uh, and well, we have, I hope, you had wonderful speakers throughout the whole weekend. Thank you so much for all the speakers, exhibitors, and, um, and well, we have, as I was telling you, we have a lot of people preparing this event. So we have comedies of preparing the liturgies, the opening ceremony, uh, they help us with registration, and of course, the whole logistics of Congress. And we have the volunteers, you know, many volunteers uh, in many, many, many areas. And, um, and I wanna thank, I don't know if you have been paying attention to this wonderful group here, Deaf and Heart of Hearing. Thank you for the wonderful ministry that you are doing throughout the whole Congress. It's beautiful what they do. Thank you. And let me tell you that the host that you were receiving in every liturgy, they were prepared by the inmates of the Ventura Youth Correctional Facility in Camarillo. So thank you for preparing the host for our liturgies. And a special thanks for Ian and Eduardo. I don't know if you are look, you're watching right now, no, or the morning, because we had two masses today, but thank you so much. And a special thanks to Kim, Dr. Kim Harris for the theme song this year, and her publisher, GIA. Thank you, Kim. Did you like the music? It was wonderful. 
So thank you, Linda and Carlos. Thank you so much. It was beautiful. And of course, John, no, the music director. Thank you so much. Our ministers of liturgical movement, the coordinators of all the liturgies, and we had a group of students from LMU and Mary, no, Mount Saint, Mount Saint Mary University. Thank you for your support. And I don't know if you had a chance to go to confession for confession this weekend. But thank you so much for the priests here in confession. It's a beautiful ministry that we need throughout the weekend. And of course, priests, deacons, the wives of the deacons. But I also want to give a special thanks to the bishops. And let me tell you, the bishops here, but let me tell you that we have a couple of very important people. So we have our apostolic nuncio. Archbishop Pierre, Bishop Franz Peter that is coming from Rome. He's at the Dicastery on Catechesis. Thank you, Bishop. They came to check on us. <laughs> so they are nice people. They are nice. And, um, and of course, I want to thank my staff. It's right here, the Office of Religious Education. They really make me work, I need to say. But a special thanks to Paulette, Jan, Jenny, Joanna, and Natalie. You cannot imagine how hard they, they work. And of course, they make me work as well. <laughs> they don't sleep, they don't eat, they just work. And, um, but we have this beauty. And as well, do you see this place? It's super transformed. If you arrive here, well, we arrived on, some of us on Tuesday, it's just beautiful to see the transformation. So I want to uh, thank Val McRae for creating the logo and the idea of creating this beautiful place and as well, sacred space. I don't know if you had the opportunity to go to sacred space. It was beautiful, and as well, her team. So thank you. And um, so before the last one, we have a little surprise for you. So don't forget to mark your calendars. We hope to see you, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again on February 15 to, 15 to uh, 18, not 28, <laughs> too long, <laughs> 15 to 18 next year. So thank you so much. Muchísimas gracias. And please take care of the experience that you are carrying with you. Thank you. Ah, uh, sister, don't go anywhere, sister, come back. <laughs> special, special thank you to Sister Rosalia Mesa, Director of the Revolution of the I forgot to say something very important. 
the spirit of Bishop Dave was with us throughout the whole weekend. He really loved Congress. As well, thank you to Bishop Dave that is in heaven right now. So I hope that during these beautiful days, we really felt the embrace of the grace of God. I hope that, espero que todos estos días hayamos recibido la bendición del abrazo de la gracia de Dios. And now, our mission is to go out and share with the people of God the embrace of the grace of God. Nuestra misión ahora es salir e ir con el pueblo de Dios para compartir con ellos el abrazo de la gracia de Dios. And we'll see you all on Congress 2024. <laughs> the Lord be with you. Yes, may bountiful blessings, O Lord, we pray, come down upon your people, that hope may grow in tribulation, virtue be strengthened in temptation, and eternal redemption be assured through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your life. Thanks be to God. God. Open our lips to proclaim your praise. Embrace grace, abraza la gracia. 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 Hermanos y hermanas, estamos reunidos con una familia. Espíritu no se conocerán por nuestro amor, por nuestro amor. Embrace grace, abraza la gracia. 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 Boca de Dios, no vivimos 
solo de pan, sino de toda palabra de la boca de Dios. Vivimos solo de pan, sino de toda palabra de la boca de Dios. Tú eres la palabra de Dios, tú eres el camino, la verdad y la vida. It is hard to believe that we've come to the end of our RE Congress 2023 journey. What an inspiring and uplifting weekend it has been for those of us who have participated in the arena and those of you who have faithfully followed along from your homes in the U.S. or wherever you call home. Es difícil imaginar que hemos llegado al fin de nuestra jornada del Congreso 2023. Qué fin de semana más inspirador y alentador para los que hemos participado de forma presencial y ustedes que nos han acompañado desde casa aquí en Estados Unidos o de los distintos rincones del mundo. Let us go forth as ministers with the joy and power of the Holy Spirit to be those agents of grace to a world that needs our commitment and passionate embrace of the gospel more than ever. Let us remember that our God is great and that we can't hesitate to be bold and courageous in making a difference in the communities we love and serve. 
Vayamos al mundo como ministros con el gozo y poder del Espíritu Santo para ser agentes de la gracia de Dios a un mundo que necesita nuestro compromiso y el abrazo gozoso del Evangelio más que nunca. Recordemos que nuestro Dios es grande y que no debemos titubear en ser audaces y valientes en mejorar y reforzar las comunidades que amamos y a las que servimos. It has been my deep honor to journey with you through these past few days of the Los Angeles Religious Education Congress as your MC. I hope you will take the inspiration of this weekend's events and message and recommit to live your life as missionary disciples. Let us go forth and embrace grace. Ha sido mi más grande honor haberlos acompañado estos últimos días del Congreso de Educación Religiosa como su conductor. Espero que tomen la inspiración de los eventos y el mensaje de este fin de semana para comprometerse plenamente a vivir sus vidas de discípulos misioneros. Vayamos pues y abracemos a la gracia. Please join us next year for Congress, February 15th through the 18th of 2024. Por favor, acompáñenos el próximo año para el Congreso, los días 15 al 18 de febrero de 2024. God bless you. Que Dios los bendiga.